Captain Robert Corston shows us around the Midland Salvation Army shelter, a place where those who are struggling need somewhere to stay until they can get back on their feet. Hey guys. He knows his clients. Hey. From addiction to homelessness, sometimes the people here need someone to understand what it's like to be in their shoes. All right, this is Quagmire. I got both Transformers. This is supposed to be product of my environment. He doesn't look like it, but Captain Robert Corston has been there before. These are his jailhouse tattoos. Finally, I make it to seminary school, and I, I, I go to the principal, and I go, should I cover this stuff up? This, and he goes, no, this is what makes you approachable, because you can tell people about your story, your testimony, it opens the door. And it did do that. But so this one was supposed to be, like, hazard. Don't go back to, to doing that poison. And it all started back in Youngstown, Ohio in the early 2010s. When I'm at, in the stage of partying and experimenting is when kind of opiates kind of started making their way to society, you know, and we didn't know anything about it or how addictive they could be. A lot of us just kept getting into trouble and getting into more trouble. I, I got arrested. It was kind of eye-opening because I saw the disappointment in my mom's eye. I'm not putting her through this anymore. And from that day, I was like, done. And then, life was good for a while, until he'd lose the two most important people in his life, his mom and later his dad. It was so painful that I just gravitated back to anything to make the pain stop. It's just uh, this dark pit. And it was like I found a way to shut my heart off. I had this mentality of, you got more than me and that's not fair. Your parents are still alive. You know what I mean? It made me so angry and so bitter. Robert would find his way to the drug court where he would get some help, but he'd fail out instead. And when his dad died, the court allowed him to be with his father one last time. Looking back now, I see that, that judge knew Jesus. He never said it. It makes me emotional to even think about. But after failing to meet with a probation officer, Robert would be sentenced for a year in prison. He only had to serve a couple of months due to his time with the drug court and jail. He's like, I'm, I'm sending you to prison because I think it will save your life. And at only 23 years old, he was released and homeless. Somehow both an atheist and mad at God, which I don't know how you can be mad at someone you don't believe in, right? But that's just my parents. They were everything to me. And I lost him. That's when he would trade the snow for the beach. He and a friend would leave Ohio and move to Florida. But what he didn't know is that's where he would find hope, through an organization he's all too familiar with now. While I'm at Florida, I run into my aunt. She drags me to church, and I meet somebody that went to a Salvation Army Adult Rehabilitation Center. So I'm like, there's no way they're going to take me. So they take me. They, I just felt God talking to me. Then I started going to recovery meetings where it really started to open my eyes a little more. And then I just, I got down and I, I went to the altar to pray. And I just asked God to just, I said, I feel like I'm on borrowed time. Friends of mine that did way less are now dead. I said, just put me in a position where maybe I can help some people. If God can use Jacob, then he can definitely use me. There was something powerful about that. It's when I decided that I was going to start serving the Lord. This is where all those wrong turns brought him, right here in Midland, where he currently serves as captain of the Midland Salvation Army, giving testimony about how the man up above gave him another chance at life. It was this sobriety I was feeling. And you get over that, that hurdle can change everything. Ah, just, I can put myself in the mind state of all of them. And then you just see it start to get darker. Now I got a family, I got a wife and a kid of my own. It's crazy how God will work with full surrender. The heart for this ministry, and then to get sent here at Midland, where I'm dealing with addicts, alcoholics, homeless all day long and I'm able to really understand what they're going through because I've gone through it. So all I want to do is figure out how to help them. You know, not just give them a hand out, give them a leg up. Figure out, hey man, it's possible to break through this. I'm proof of that. 
living proof that the Salvation Army is more than just a shelter. It's a family that doesn't judge your mistakes. Instead, they give you what they once gave to Captain Robert, another chance to have faith. All right, let's pray. If you're still breathing, that means that God's not done with you yet, and you have a chance to climb out of this hole. There's still hope. There's still ways to smile. That's why I do what I do. In Midland, Jolena Okazaki, News West 9.